During an interview with the British newspaper The Sun, President Trump criticized UK Prime Minister Theresa May's handling of Brexit, and he weighed in on Meghan Markle's politics. All of this, of course, just a few days before he heads to the UK for a state visit, and that includes dinner with the Queen and a meeting about climate change with Prince Charles. Yes, with some of the royals there. So from London right now, CNN field producer Salma Abdel Aziz. Uh, Salma, so good to have you here. What did he say? Well, uh, President Trump had this wide-ranging interview with The Sun. He spoke on all matters, meeting the royal family, climate change, his position on Brexit. Um, he spoke, of course, about Meghan Markle um, after The Sun confronted him with some comments she had made in 2016 against President Trump. Take a listen to what she said at the time. Yes, of course, Trump is divisive. Think about just female voters alone, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I think it was in 2012, like, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That's a huge number. Mm -hmm. And with as misogynistic as Trump is and so vocal about it, right. that's a huge chunk of it. You're not just voting for a woman mm -hmm. if it's Hillary just because she's a woman, but certainly because Trump has made it easy to see that you don't really want right. that kind of world that he's painting. But, you can hear there um, kind of the tone of her voice calling him misogynist. Nick, President Trump said he did not know about these comments, called her nasty, but then sort of seemed to bury the hatchet and said, I'm sure she'll do great. I'm sure she'll do well and moved on. Now, Meghan Markle, now as a member of the royal family, she cannot be seen to be political. She's on maternity leave, so she will not be attending these events, but her husband, Prince Harry, will be. And one of the first events is a private lunch hosted by him in the Queen with President Trump. You can expect the royals to behave in the way that they're always expected to behave, which is not to weigh in on pr political manners, to behave uh, in a way of high decorum, high status, and not to be seen as taking any sides. So the burden will really be on President Trump to reciprocate that behavior and make sure he doesn't weigh in on issues that might offend the royal family or the British public. All right, Salma Abdelaziz, we appreciate it. Thank you.